The main circular chromosome of a bacterium, such as E. coli, must be compacted about a thousandfold to fit within the nucleoid region of the cell. This is accomplished in part by a process known as supercoiling, in which the DNA twists and coils into a more compact form. We can better understand supercoiling by looking at a short linear piece of DNA, which has five helical turns and is fixed at both ends. If we turn one end of the segment to the left, in the opposite direction from the twists in the DNA helix, the DNA strands unwind slightly. The force of the turn causes the DNA to twist around itself, producing a negative supercoil. Notice that this structure has the same number of turns as the original relaxed segment, but is more compact. The DNA segment can also be overwound if it is twisted to the right, in the same direction of the turns in the helix. This twisting produces a positive supercoil. In the E. coli cell, an enzyme known as topoisomerase II produces negative supercoils, which compacts the DNA. A second enzyme, called topoisomerase I, can positively supercoil the negatively supercoiled strand, which converts the DNA back to its original relaxed state. <laughs>